So today I'm starting off with a rant about the save the manuals. This is a Mazda speed hatchback. 2007 generation with a five speed and the whole generation of cars that were analog like this with not a whole lot of bells and whistles with a manual transmission are pretty much gone like it's a sad day if you've never had experienced one of these type of cars go find one go drive one it's a whole different just feel of driving it's it's incredible honestly i wish i could buy this car but i can't but yeah we're gonna get this thing ripped apart the interior is obviously trash from these before shots like you guys saw so we're gonna get the seats ripped out we're gonna get all their stuff in the trunk pulled out get the center console pulled out so that way we can do a really in-depth clean and make this thing look like new for the next owner that's gonna enjoy this car Now when it comes to rear carpet like this or even floor mats, one thing that I'm starting to do more of is using these cone type drill brushes, which you can also get on foxclean.com. Uh, there's a whole little set you can get, but these cone shaped ones are great for holding your drill sideways like this to get any remaining dog hair or embedded like pieces of grass that you really can't get out with a vacuum. And if you've ever tried to vacuum the rear part of your trunk or carpet, it's a pain in the butt. Like it's hard to get it out. This is the only way that I found able to do it. And it helps get all of that stuff loosened up, pulled to the surface for that last vacuum step before extraction or just to get it all cleaned up.
I got a question for you. Have you built your bet slip yet? Because UFC 290 is this weekend and you don't want to miss it. Today's video is in partnership with DraftKings and right now they are offering a really cool offer for new customers that sign up using the promo code Stoffer and bet just $5, you will receive $150 in bonus bets instantly. So what's not a better time to do that? Try it out. Even if you've never done DraftKings before or bet on sports, sign up using that promo code, bet five bucks and get $150 in bonus bets to get into the world world of betting on sports and UFC 290 is this weekend, which is a perfect opportunity as well. So stay in on the action and use your $150 in bonus bets on DraftKings same fight parlays for a shot at an even bigger payout. Combine multiple bets together from the same fight, including number of rounds and method of victory. The more bets you combine, the more you can win. DraftKings is the only place where you can bet same fight parlays. And if sports betting is not available in your state or for you, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun at DraftKings Daily Fantasy for a shot and winning cash prizes. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use the promo code STOFFER. Get that $5 bet in on DraftKings and you'll get 150 bonus bets instantly. And that promo code is STOFFER only at DraftKings Sportsbooks. Now, if you are interested in the other products I use, um, they're all listed in the description box below for my extractor, my uh, carpet cleaning solution I use, along with some of the other tools that you can pick up. Um, those are all Amazon links down below. So make sure you check them out. Um, but for extraction in any of the carpet, I use Flex Ice, which is a citrus-based cleaner. And then there's also an extraction rinse fluid that goes in my extractor. And this helps with, one, just breaking down everything, being biodegradable and safe, you know, so it doesn't have super strong chemicals that can damage your skin or be uh, um, allergenic. And then the Flex Ice Rinse is what helps neutralize the pH of the carpet fibers and keep them soft and pliable over time. Because sometimes if you use a stronger product that's not pH neutral um, or neutralize the pH of the actual carpet cleaner, you'll get that stiff fiber where they kind of clump together or they're, they're really hard to the touch. So that is why I like to use both those products. Now I wanna ask you all if there's any types of videos you wanna see, whether you want me to redo the polishing video, whether you want me to do more specific videos on different types of tools or cleaning different steps, let me know in the comments below. Give me some video suggestions that you wanna see on this channel. Um, I wanna add some more content for you all. I know that these details are what you like to see, but if you have a specific topic that you want me to cover as well, I'm happy to, and I'm always open to suggestions. So let me know in the comments below.
Now I clean the spare tire and I'm gonna clean all the rear stuff in the, in the trunk area. But one thing I recommend is on at least a six month basis, if you're cleaning your car out, check the PSI and the air pressure inside your spare tire. Cause you'll never know when you're gonna use it. Hopefully you never have to, but it would suck if you get stuck on the side of the road and you're trying to change your tire and you find out your spare is flat. So always check the PSI on that every once in a while. Make sure the air pressure is up there. If you're filling up your tires on the outside of the car um, at a gas station or at home, go ahead and check your spare as well. It's just, it's really good practice to have that sort of, you know, um, um, thoroughness along with checking your oil and all those other things. But um, using APC in my microfiber towels and detailing brushes to clean up these rear trunk bits, put them all back in there. Um, you'll never see them for the most part unless you change a tire, but it's always nice to be thorough and make sure your whole car is clean. Now a common question I get is how do I dry out my seats or dry out the carpets on the interiors of these cars? Um, being in Ohio, especially during the winter time, I don't have the opportunity to leave it outside in the sun. Plus, it takes a little bit longer. So for me, I have two blower fans that I like to blow air across the car or inside the car across the seats. Um, so what I do is I set them all up in a row at the end of the night when I'm done detailing this thing and I have two of those fans just flowing air. Flow, airflow is what will dry them. And you know, think about it, if you ever get your carpets done inside your house, they put those big old blowers that sit on the ground that look like snails and they're just trying to blow air across the surface. And that pulls out that moisture, helps push airflow across them. And that is the quickest way and easiest way to dry them and why I do this and then let the cars sit overnight, especially if I do something as intense as extracting the entire vehicle.
watch this video right here on screen, you will not be disappointed. This is the maggot van I talked about earlier. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that down below, and I'll see you guys next week.